Hi, welcome back to my home and welcome to part three of the Debbie Does series. Today, Debbie does Walter G. Yay. So, um, Walter G is a company based in Australia and it is owned by two women, Lauren Emerson and Genevieve Hewson. Uh, Lauren and Genevieve are best friends. They traveled to India when they were younger and um, really fell in love with the whole aesthetic of India, uh, where they were influenced to start their own textile company. So when they returned home from India, back to Australia, um, unfortunately both of their grandfathers um, passed away quite just right after that. And um, one's grandfather was name was Walter, the other grandfather's name was George. So they decided to take those names and name their company for their grandfather. So Walter G. Very lovely and sweet. So today we are the lucky recipients of these beautiful collections and um, this really beautiful aesthetic that gives us this great relaxed vibe of sort of coastal living and um, where you can layer and you can really play with each fabric and really build a beautiful home um, and beautiful rooms with these fabrics. Um, so um, I will begin by showing you the outdoor. So this is a new collection of outdoor. This is called Saqqara. Um, Saqqara is really lovely. Um, it is a sombrella fabric and it is also reversible. All of the outdoor patterns are reversible. So you can see it's a little bit lighter on one side than the other. So it's your sombrella outdoor. This is Yoko. Yoko also reverses. So deep, deep indigo here and then more of the white on the other side. So again, those are reversible. And then here you're going to have yucca. Yucca is fabulous as well. Again, reversible. You have the indigo, and then it will reverse to a little bit more of an opaque. I'm sorry, more of an ecru. And then the next is, oops, huts. And huts, again, is a really lovely gray on white. And in the back, it's gray with white, but as a reverse. And then the last new for outdoor is called Batik. This is Batik, nice small scale again, gray and white. So you have this really, really lovely collection that's going to play well together. And um, you can certainly do a lot. Okay, now I'm going to show you the linens. Um, these linens are all hand blocked and they're made in India. And um, really, really fabulous. So this is ECAT, as you can see. And this is really lovely for Romans or for pillows or something. You can use this also for, um, for duvets and things like that. And then we have Mali. Mali is a really lovely pattern as well. It's, it's a really nice small scale. This is nice, it has a white paint on the natural ground. So you have some nice texture because usually when there's a white paint applied to a natural fiber, um, it, it makes this really great texture so you can see it and touch it um, in this really lovely way. So it has a lot of depth. So that is called Mali. Next is Siam. And also there are other colorways of some of these and you can go online, they have a great website. Um, and you can choose the other colorways that you'd like and then certainly ask any of us to help you figure that out and send you metal samples. Um, this is Siam, like I said, another really nice small scale print. If you can see that. It's a nice sort of vertical line going on. And then Miero, and this really pretty Indian teal color. This actually has a, a, a lot of leaves and um, what they've done is they've outlined blocks of leaves and um, it just makes for almost like a quilted ap ap appearance and um, it's lovely. It has a really nice accru kind of ground. And the next is Sakura. Now you saw Sakura in the outdoor pattern, which was right here, in the outdoor. Uh, this is the indoor, and this is lovely. This is a gorgeous guava color. That happens to be my favorite color. Um, again, with this really pretty chalk white, and then that more of sort of a tobacco, but they're called, I think this is called curry. Um, no, it's saffron. <laughs> So we have the saffron as well. And then Kanoko in Pacific Blue. This has got it almost looks a little bit like sea urchins, um, but there's nothing kitschy about any of these. There are very sophisticated patterns, and yes, they can work really well at beach houses, but they're not that kitschy kind of a look. Um, it's just they're very sophisticated and subtle and really fun. 
and then we have bungle boogles. This is really fun. I don't know if you can see this, but they're really small scale pattern. It makes a pattern within a pattern, and it's just super great fun. And then Babylon. Babylon is great too. This actually has a nice um, horizontal stripping going on, and then within the horizontal, you have some vertical lines, which are to me are reminiscent of almost like an iron gate, but in a very soft way. Um, different color blues in this as well. So you have that sort of natural brown with, I think, three different blues on this. So it's really nice. You can see it up close. And that's Babylon. Next is Thieves. Thieves is a really pretty saffron color as well. Um, and then again, you have the horizontal stripings, and within the horizontal, you have a little bit of a, um, I'm sorry, the vertical stripings, and then you have the little horizontal going on. And that's Thieves. It's nice to introduce a little bit of that sort of more natural color um, with that sort of brown and ochre color. It's really pretty. Um, so this is Sedona. This is lovely. This is actually looks like a little bit like a starfish. Um, but again, not kitschy at all, and has this really pretty ground behind the starfish, and it just has that organic feel, and it's just really fun. That's Sedona. And then Moro, look at this gorgeous color. This is um, called Celadon, of course, um, and you need to see this up close because they look like little sailboats, and um, the pattern's just so sweet, really, really pretty drapes. Um, I think on the website they might show this as a headboard, and it's just terrific. Um, I actually just got a phone call from a client um, who wanted to use this pattern for some seats in a dining room. And um, she just asked me some questions about it and um, just really fun. Uh, this is Luxor. Um, this again is really pretty. This has a, again a really great vertical stripe in here. There's some stitching, um, um, some colors in the block print that looks like stitching. So it almost looks a little bit like an embroidery. Again, really pretty. And I'll just keep in mind too, with that hand block look, um, because these are hand blocked, um, you're going to have this really beautiful organic uh, um, texture and also just visually, um, visual texture as well. And the visual texture, um, you're going to see almost like an unevenness to that, which is, in my opinion, lovely. And it's what makes everything so beautiful in hand block print. Because when you think about the people putting um, the artisans putting the ink on the block and then taking the block and then pressing it down on the fabric and then lifting it up. Everybody has a different weight, right? So they're going to press down. At maybe at 9 o'clock in the morning or whenever they start at 7 a.m., they're going to be stronger and not as tired. They're going to push it down hard. And then they're going to do the block and then do the block and then do the block, lift it up, put it down, and then they do the next row. Um, you know, in a couple hours, maybe they're not as strong. So it's kind of a little bit of an unevenness which is so beautiful and so wonderful. Um, the same artisan does, does a certain amount of yardage, so you have that same kind of um, grasp, so to speak, and weight, so to speak, so it makes it um, more sort of symmetrical, but yet not ever, ever perfect in the sense of symmetry because it's, it's hand blocked, it's fabulous. And this is a gorgeous, look how beautiful that blue is and how it all looks gorgeous with this color here. This is called Yoko. Um, and this color is called Indian Teal. And then here we have another nice indigo. This is called Dash Dot. And you'll also see the Dash Dot in reverse. So you have a darker ground here, and then you have the Dash and the Dot in the ivory, um, or the more natural colors, and then the charcoal, and then the gray as well. So you're gonna see it, um, this is Dash Dot Reverse or da Dash Dot. And I'll help you figure that out if you're not sure. Next is called Hanami, and Hanami is in Pacific Blue. Um, Hanami is almost like a flower. Um, it's, it is a flower. It's really lovely. Um, it has that sort of kaleidoscope look, um, like in the initial kaleidoscope before you start to twirl it. Um, it looks a little bit like that. And also it looks like it's been stitched. So um, let's say you're doing um, some sewing and you have a, you know, you're stitching around some leaves. Um, that's what it looks like, some petals. That's what it looks like. It looks like you're stitching around petals and just really, it's charming. And that again is called Hanami. And look how pretty that color is here. That soft celadon. It's lovely. And then we have Kipos. Kipos is in that gorgeous guava. And um, again, really pretty in that chalk white as well. As you can see the chalk white. Get nice small scale print. Really versatile. Lovely. Next is Scapello. Scapello is so pretty. 
Um, scapello looks a little bit like strawberries to me. It's that really pretty kind of like oval mound and then a little bit of almost like seeds, but it's just so pretty. Um, and this is scapello in the color of Celadon. And then we have Nagari. This is really fun. Whenever I show this, people always say, oh my gosh, I have to have that. This is so cool. Um, this is the color chalk again. Um, and there's a really interesting um, uh, um, co um, connection on YouTube which shows them block printing this particular pattern, which is really fun. When I say connection, I mean link, <laughs> sorry. Um, and this is Pilu. Um, Pilu is really fun. It has, again, that really great sort of horizontal striping and, um, and then it comes in the chalk white and then there are two blues here. So you have this deep blue here and then you have a little bit more of an indigo here. They're calling this actually slate. So it's a little bit more of that, almost like a black charcoal color. This is Cantha. Um, Cantha is again really lovely. Um, it has, again, the vertical striping and also comes in a color here, which is a little bit more of a natural ground. And next we have Havana. Havana is um, really fun. Look at this beautiful color here and that sangria color. It's just beautiful. So if you're looking for a lovely sort of raspberry sangria color, this is fabulous. And it's a nice scale, so you can do a lot with this because it would be really lovely um, on furniture, but it would also be really lovely as drapes. It's very pretty. And then we have ticking. All of us love our stripes. Um, ticking is fabulous. Um, I really like this. It has an organic nature to it. It looks very painterly. Um, and it also looks a little bit like a bamboo. You know how bamboo gets wide and then it gets a little bit narrow. It has sort of that, that, um, that kind of striping within um, the, the actual bamboo. That's what this reminds me of because it kind of comes down and it goes, it kind of elongates and then it goes out a little bit and then it goes down. Um, it's just very organic for a stripe. It's just lovely. And again, look how pretty all these colors are together. So you can layer and layer and layer and um, just make your own unique space. Um, this is really fun. This is called Mizu. This looks like waves, just gentle waves. And we all love that, right? It just makes us feel soothed. Um, and it also comes in this really pretty kind of indigo blue. And, um, but on that chalk white, it's just lovely. And then Flores. <laughs> Flores is just fabulous because I love flowers. And this is just a lot of flowers. And it's, again, really organic. It just kind of just flows easily. Um, this would be a really beautiful duvet, beautiful for drapes, um, really fun for a chair. Again, raspberry, you've got that fun green and the soft blue. And that's Flores. And then Batik. Batik is, again, this is a great, again, small scale. It has almost a little bit like a um, quilted pattern, a square within a square with a little bit of pattern within the squares. Again, with the chalk white and that soft blue. And then we have Diamond Booty. Diamond Booty, again, this is a nice, great geometric, different colorways in this as well. You have that mineral green, and then you have the blue with the white chalk. And then Granada. Granada, this is really pretty, just kind of free-flowing leaves, and you have it in that nice green, very, very earthy green, and then that nice, strong blue, and that soft smoke gray. This is really pretty. Again, very versatile. Sensu, I love this. This is, I have a thing for fans, and this reminds me of fans. And um, it's just, it's just so sweet and pretty, and um, I don't know, I, I think that fans are so feminine, and this is just lovely. Um, and it also comes in the white with chalk. And again, that's called Sensu. And then next is Ajuna. Again, beautiful, looks like, um, almost like tile work. Um, beautiful here with that chalk white. This is Ajuna. And then Tangier. And Tangier is great. I'm going to see if you can see this closer this way. Looks to me like almost like kayaks um, looking from above and um, just fun. And um, again, it's very kind of beachy but sophisticated and particularly in these colors. And um, it just takes you somewhere else. And super fun. And look how beautiful this color is with the blues. It's gorgeous. And then we have Sevilla or Seville. Um, Seville is um, just really fun, almost solid. Um, you could certainly use this as a solid because there's so much paint on this and it's really great. 
almost like creates almost like a, a web or a weave within this. Um, but it's a print. Well, it's a hand block print. Sevilla or Seville. And then this is Cuba. Look how great this is. I love this color. So this again, guava, and then even chalk white, and that pretty kind of like smoky gray. Um, Cuba. Petra. And this is that chalk white again. Again, vertical lines with powder within the vertical lines, and then this beautiful tobacco color as well. So you're going to have these nice earth tones with the tobaccos and the greens, um, as well as the whites, um, the chalk whites. Um, and then you're going to have the beautiful fresh blues and, the, and that beautiful sangria color. It's really, it's a beautiful collection of color. Um, and this is Huts. Um, you saw this in the beginning on the outdoor collection. This is the indoor version of Huts. And again, just really small triangles, creates a really nice small scale pattern and um, with a chalk here. And then Kiwano. Uh, again, nice small scale. You can see it a little bit better here on the, um, in the blue. Um, but this lovely white can create, again, like a nice solid because it's tone on tone um, and it trades really well. It's very pretty. And this is Kiwana. And then lastly is Pyramids. Um, Pyramids is so fun. Um, this is a nice statement piece. Look at that beautiful teal. And again, that chalk white color. Really fun. Again, super versatile like all of these are. And um, I'm thrilled to be able to show this collection. It's really fun. And um, if you have any questions, um, once again, please reach out to any of us, me, Kiana, Christina, Carly, Jess, and Josh. <laughs> and um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.